time for our Weather Geek Wednesday, one of our favorite segments. We hope it is yours as well. Ari Sarsalari is joining us from the ATL. And Ari, you're saying beware of the B-W-E-R. Yeah. And people are like, did I hear that right? Does Stephanie not know how to spell? Does Ari not know how to spell? It's a fun <laughs> little meteorologist saying, right? Within the meteorological community here at Sometimes, beware of the beware. That's kind of the whole reason that we say it like this. And it has to do with this part of a storm called a bounded weak echo region. Okay, so B-W-E-R. Okay, I know this is all kind of confusing. We're going to make sense of it all. But this has to do with tornadoes in a lot of cases, not always. But, you know, tornadoes, of course, they spin very fast in a lot of cases. And sometimes it's that spinning that can actually allow you to see exactly where the tornado is. I'm going to take you back about a week, week and a half ago. This was in southwestern South Dakota, pretty close to Rapid City, okay? So uh, there was a big supercell here, okay? We've all seen these before, big hook echo. If there were to be a tornado, it would be right in that area right there, okay? Now, just because you have a hook echo doesn't mean you have a tornado every single time. But watch what happens as we progress through time here. This was just before midnight, by the way, so it was kind of tough to get video of this. But it did end up being a confirmed tornado. Look what develops. Do you see that right there? You see that little area where the reflectivity is lower? That is a weak echo, okay? So these are all strong echoes. This is a weak echo. Bounded weak echo region. Starting to see what I'm talking about here. It's almost like a little donut hole right in the middle of that hook echo. And this is actually exactly where the tornado was. I mentioned this is just northeast of Rapid City, South Dakota. And really, you can just watch it progress. And we're going to move it forward here a little bit. It almost just stays like that. I mean, you can see exactly where the tornado was through the entirety of uh, that supercell, especially as it got closer to the radar. And that's what really made this so visible. This was exactly where the rotation was. Look at that thing right there. It was just a little donut hole right in the middle of that hook echo. So you could see exactly where the tornado was. You could see exactly where the rotation was. It was perfectly lined up there. Even a little bit of debris was uh, visible on the radar there as well. So next time you hear, beware of the beware you'll know what we're talking about, right? That's good party fodder, right, Steph? <laughs> exactly. Ari, you know what is another one? The um, Greenberg, Greenberg, Kansas one. That was another one. That's a good, that's a good point. And I was trying <laughs> to think of maybe some previous cases that we could have gone through, but I figured for this yeah. one we'll just focus on this, maybe well, in a future you, one. You, yeah, no, no, that one was awesome. I'm just saying if you do it again later in the day, show the Greenberg one because that one was like a sick, that looked like a straight donut. I'm, you know, I'm literally already the downloading the radar files. <laughs> on your, on your uh, what, iPhone, on your yeah, iWatch? Exactly, or on my fossil on. watch somehow. All right, <laughs> on your fossil watch. Love it. Ari Sarsalari, thank you.